Hey, Paul of Jackson Computer Consulting here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a program called Fast Tone Photo Resizer that has many different features, but what I'm going to show you today is how to use it to resize images and also add a background or a border to them. Uh, first you'll want to go to uh, Fast Tone website to download it. And it is a free program. Let me get the address for you here. Okay, it's just fasttone.org. And what you want is the Fast Tone Photo Resizer. Just download it and install it. And you see, I already have it here. Um, I got some test pictures here we're going to play with. Uh, just a couple card pictures. So we're going to want to open Fast Tone Photo Resizer and you'll get this window. Now the first thing you want to do is <clears throat> navigate to your photos. Which I have mine on the desktop. Test Picks. Okay. And I'm going to click Add All. That will add all these images to the input list. Next, you're going to want to change the output folder. Hit browse, and you can put that wherever you want them to output to. I'm going to make a new folder under test picks, and I'll just call it resize. Right, that's fine. Okay, now down here is a bunch of options. You can choose to rename it. Um, I usually rename them all. I use the pound symbol that'll um, add a number at the end, end of the word image or whatever you call it. You can say resize if you wanted to. And it'll add a number after it one, two, three, four, etc. And I checked advanced options. And this is where you're going to find the resize and border and all kinds of other options. So we'll make sure that's checked. And then click advanced options. You know, and here you have a bunch of different tabs. These are all settings and things you can add to it watermarks, text, um, color dev, crop, etc. Now, what I usually do is I usually resize my images. So, get a resize tab, check resize. And if you go to pick a standard size, this is a list of uh, normal sizes you might want to change a picture to. Uh, let's just resize it to 640 by 480. And you want to just leave all this stuff go down here. Um, and then we can move on to the next tab, which we're going to do a border. Just click on the border tab. And then you would check this apply border effects. And then here there's a bunch of different frames. And it shows you a preview here. Uh, what the picture would look like. And I'm just going to go with frame one. And we're going to give it a black border. You change the color right here. You can make that border any color you want. So I'll pick black and hit OK. And of course, the width, you can make it as thick as you like as well. Uh, we'll just go with yeah, about 10, looks good, I guess. And then after you change all these settings and you know, whatever else you want to add to it, you'll go ahead and just click OK. And then all you have to do is click Convert. And it'll go. And it'll resize that border. And whatever options you choose, it'll go through and do that to all the images you added. And you just click Done. Okay, now I'm just going to minimize everything and I'll look inside my test picks resize folder and see how they turned out. There they go. So the image is smaller and you see the black border around it. And if you wanted to, I can go ahead and do it again and show you. 
Uh, we don't ask me to overwrite the files, so that's fine. Uh, let me go back in advance. Let's let's just make the border a little larger. Let's go with 20. Resize. Let's make it a little larger. We'll go 800 by 600 this time. Hit OK. And you can change how it out outputs as well, but uh, the JPEG is a you know, normal image picture. So output, we'll leave it the same. Rename it, we'll leave that the same. And we'll just hit convert again. Yes, I'm going to overwrite those dollar ones we resized. All right, we're done. I'm just going to close this for now, and we'll open test picks back up. We'll look at resize, and I'm going to I'm going to right click and say preview. We'll take a look at these again. There you go. The picture's a little larger, and you see the the, the border's a little thicker as well. And you can play around with the border size and all the other options if you want to change the thickness, use a different frame, add a watermark, text, etc. So that's about it.